And welcome back. Sorry, I've just noticed something in the corner. If you look at the ether picture, you can actually see the alpha isn't done correctly and there's a dark square around it. These artists don't know what they're doing. Well, anyway, yes, enough of me complaining. Inject. Very fancy. You get four tiny bits this time. Um, I believe now I've used this little device as well. I can have APO back in my party. Yes, thank you. And I'm going to save quickly. Okay, I'm back after that little save. I felt like I needed to do it, like this is going to be a boss or something. How did... That was... You heard it too, right? Yes, I heard it. A dog barking, correct? That's Coda! It has to be! Come on! I highly doubt it's Kota, though. What the hell are you? Seriously? Whoa! Where are we now? These samples... They're all... Arms, aren't they? Yeah! They all look like... My arm! What's going on here? Well, well, so you're still alive. Who's there? You've got the devil's luck. Or perhaps we have your arm to thank? You! Professor Ko? <laughs> Hello again, Good Atsuma. Day, you, sir. I'm glad to see you looking so well. I truly am. I mean, you've saved me from having to hunt down your arm. My arm? Just what do you want with my arm? Why are you even here? Why? <laughs> you ask why? Huh? Very well. I'll give you a final lecture. Professor? My goal is to perfect magic, revive old technology, and bring it into this new age. I needed two things to accomplish this. First, the Devil Golem sealed away in Yokohama City. That's right. The Queen of Ice. What? But as I'm sure you're aware, reviving her was not as easy as you might think. It was a real struggle, in fact. Because to resurrect a Devil Golem, resonance with something equal in power to its magic core is required. Resonance? You don't mean me? Well done! And you were always so slow in class. The key to her awakening was your right arm. <gasps> so it was my fault she awoke? Regrets are pointless now. Consider all the people you have killed. I didn't! I didn't kill anyone! <laughs> so you still don't have your memory back. What did I do? Tell me, Professor. Let me ask one thing. Are you the one who caused the Yokohama City Golems to go berserk as well? Indeed I am. I started the Golem Riot. All to force Atsuma into a corner and awaken the power of his right arm. You made the Golems attack the city? How could you? Ha! The ideas of the weak are always so rooted in old-fashioned moralities. How dare you? I'm talking about the revival of magic, the mightiest power ever. For the sake of this magnificent goal, some sacrifices should be more than acceptable. All the students in your precious school were nothing more than lab rats to me. The most talented lab rats the world had to offer, granted. Enough! You don't value human life at all, do you? <laughs> this is rich. A deadly weapon seeks to lecture me on the value of life. A weapon? What do you mean? I'm human! I'm human? Oh, you poor fool. 
I know full well that you are nothing but a weapon, as I'm sure that young lady right there can attest. That's it! Dr. Ko! I knew I'd heard the name before! You were there at the demonstration! Demonstration? Yes, dear Atsuma. You performed a wonderful demonstration for us. Total slaughter. Remember? Remember now? What you did to her? I... did something to Corrine? I did? Whoa! Kareen, Kareen, I remember what I, what I did. Your memory has returned. I, I, I'm sorry. Let me punch you. <sighs> when this is all over, let me punch you, okay? Then I'll call us even. We'll be even? After one punch? Yep, that's good enough for me. Thank you. You don't have to thank me for promising to punch you, okay? I'm gonna hit you so hard, Atsuma. Hey? What now? You just got my name right for the first time. I did? Well, well. This is most interesting. Your memory has returned, yet you still think you are human. We've got someone else to beat up before I get around to you, Atsuma. Correct, my lady. Atsuma, I must admit I'm happy to see how human you've become. Very happy. Coda? So, I wonder how the human in you will react when he sees this mutate! Dakota! So, will the human be able to kill his beloved hound, I wonder? Play nice now. <laughs> Villain. He's not the dog you knew, Atsuma. We've got to fight. And he just accepts it. Way to go, a team just accept it and beat the crap out of your dog straight off. No problems whatsoever.
This isn't over yet. Yeah. You can go to the back, like vacuum. Uh, what is the pattern on your barrier? Okay, if I move you forward. Barrier, then item. Uh, your HP, aren't you? Okay, let's have a little go at this, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna have to hit move back and heal. You are gonna have to move here. What's the strongest move you've got? High blade. Yes, this is dark. Hmm. Um. Maybe worth doing this, actually. Uh, life vacuum. All better. Use it well. Awesome. Mega Hellfang. Lovely. You can go here. There's an item. Return powder. Zuma can actually stay here. EX? No, not yet. Wave. Ooh, we didn't do anything. That's nice. That's, that's very, very nice. Um, life vacuum. You can come here and go cut dance. Um, I want to be like yeah. Come here and do cure dance. You come here and then do there we go barrier. And he can move over here and do wave again. There's some damage. Bring forth a shield. Thank you. I'm feeling it Here now. Here we go. I think I may have to use my SP and power up my people. Um, assume we can move there for a high blow. You can heal. You can move there and do high blade. And you can just stand but actually no. Item liquid ether is better. Healing power. So up. Huh. Uh, 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 you can go across high blade. And then here for another heal. And you can then do uh, life vacuum. Awesome. All right. That was actually surprisingly easy after keeping everyone alive. That used eight VP. Coda. Coda. Oh, he's still alive. Impressive, Atsuma. You're certainly strong-willed. But how about shedding the act? You're not human. You're a weapon. This guy is 100% evil, isn't he? As you say. Koda! Are you struggling to understand this, Atsuma? I'm telling you the truth. You are a weapon. Why do you suffer over the death of one insignificant little mongrel? Just an insignificant mongrel! Insignificant? Why you? I'll never forgive you for this! Never! <laughs> Strong willed to the last. Come on then, Atsuma. I've got something special prepared for you. <laughs> Wait! Stop! Atsuma! It's a trap! What's going on here? That isn't fair! Open up! Now! Oh. 
I'm going to destroy her! Shut up! Just be quiet! I know! Just this once, I'll use your power! Count on it! Uh, it's got a new power. Stun Bead Flare. Okay. And the Cerberus Core, awesome! That's... Toya! You're alive! Huh. Toya? Atsuma, do you feel like dropping the act yet? Shut up! I'm human, not some weapon! You're wrong. You're not human, Atsuma. You never were. Toya! I'm in the perfect position now to truly understand the power of magic. This is fate. For both of us. What are you talking about, Toya? You should just accept it, Atsuma. Accept your fate. Toya, snap out of it! You don't even know what you're saying! Toya is a bright student. And quite unlike you, he seems to grasp the situation perfectly. With a little lecturing from me, he quickly comes around to my way of thinking. Lecturing? What have you done to him? Your little friend here has the blood of ancients in his veins. Queen of Ice! So I made him my Magicor. <laughs> what do you say, child? Will you lend him to me, perhaps? Toya is in a possession! He isn't a thing! Len? You're crazy! No, <laughs> don't get so upset. I do so tire of the dopey ones. This is why you'll always be at the bottom of the class, Atsuma. Look at Toya. Learn from him. You too! Just hold on, Toya. I'm gonna crush these two and save you, okay? Save me? <laughs> what? What's so funny, Toya? <laughs> Save me, you say? You really can't see what's right in front of you, can you? I'm glad to have become the Magicor. I've never felt so complete, so satisfied in all my life. What? What are you talking about? I'm gonna save you, come on! And I'm telling you, I don't want it. When did I ask you to save me? You've come all the way here, and now you're trying to force me into being saved? You always have been hard-headed, and stupid, too. Toya! You! What have you done to him? <laughs> I'm going to smash you! I can't allow you to attack the Queen, Atsuma. What? If you want to defeat the Queen, you'll have to kill me first. Oh, Toya, my dear. What a lovely thing to say. What do you mean, Toya? Get out of the way! Out of the way, Toya! What are you playing at? Come on, Rygar, smash it! Even for me, this is no easy task, milady. Move aside. Huh? Who's there? I said, just move aside. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Quickly, go. I don't know who you are, but thank you. Come on, Rygar. As you say. Looks like the Playboy Bunny helped us out. <laughs> the human in you could never hurt Toya. I think it's time for you to leave the stage. I only need your right arm. There is no longer any reason for you to be attached to it. Now, die. Although perhaps that is the wrong verb, Mr. Human Weapon. Damn you! This is the end, Atsuma. The end for you! What? How did you get in here? That's my secret. It was very short-sighted of you to stall us with such a flimsy trap. Well, whatever. The outcome will be the same, no matter how many of you there are. Now. Curse your own ignorance and prepare to die. Ooh, what are you? Observe, Atsuma. 
I created this golem based on my research into your art. <laughs> Fantastic, don't you agree? I impress myself. So just you be grateful, grateful, that such a creation, handcrafted by the magic genius Dr. Ko, will be the one that destroys you. Oh well, how unfortunate. So let's have a look at you. I'm guessing you're fire based. Greatest growing creation, dying the face, blah blah blah. No, you're darkness, and you are dark as well. 1300. 400. Okay. You come to the back and do. Make a link. Actually, no, I'd want to do that at the end because I don't want to use it straight away. You go there first. Flare rush. And poison mist. And have I got anything else? I'll go with high blade just to destroy this thing. And let's then power everyone up and see if we can get co up. <laughs> Uh, uh, defeat me. Pointless. Master of Magic. I can make a hundred, a thousand golems for you to fight. He isn't lying. I don't care. We just have to defeat Ko, right? Yes, that's true. You. Actually, you know, you come back. So then do. What are you? Single enemy. Okay, that would be good. And I need one more for that. So I'll go with Wave for now. And you'll go with that one. And then we get an extra shot on you. Actually, no, it'll be you first. Life vacuum. Then it'll be you. On um, that, if it's still alive. Here we go. Come on, all four. Some good damage and quite a bit to co by the look of it. Worth this scum. How much have we hurt him by? I took about three hundred fifty-seven. Okay. Um, can I do this yet? Yeah, EX. No, I've got to be able to move one square forward, so... If I actually come to the front, is there any way I can attack? No. Okay, so wave. Then slash. Life vacuum. Then you can attack. I need you to attack this one to get rid of it. Eat this! Yeah! Come on, this last attack, kill it. Yes. Ooh, he didn't do it this time. First things first. Okay. Do these work on other creatures or is it just yourself? Let's heal own, okay. Um, take a liquid ether. You will move there. And do your EX move. But I haven't really got the combo meter to actually do a ton of damage to him, so... I'll just go with normal moves for now. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. And you're moving there to do that. You move across to do that. You move across to do wave. And we get a triple on him. scum. Yeah. 
Okay, let's go at this, shall we? First things first is you. Then... Life Vacuum. That won't work because I need to be in the front one. You will do Life Vacuum first. Just to attack everything. Hatsuma will move here. He's not got that much health left. And uh, then let's just go with Summon Phoenix. Nowhere near as strong, but... Um, then we've got Slash. Then... Um, would my EX do it? On top, it takes 28. It does get him. Sure, I'll use the whole bar. Phoenix! Rage and flare! Boom! Burn it up! And slash! That's Kogon and the creature. Not too bad! Spent some time thinking about one mind gem. You're kidding me, right? That's pitiful! <laughs> wonderful! Absolutely wonderful! W what's so funny? I'm very happy, Atsuma. Very happy indeed. You aren't even fully awakened, yet look at all that power! Uh. Amazing. Truly, truly amazing! But still, it is time for you to die. You have done so very well. Be proud of that fact as you die. Now kill him! Queen of Ice! Thank you. Actually, I believe it's your time to die, insect. Why? Why do you betray me? <laughs> betray? <laughs> That's rich coming from a second-rate human like you. Second? Rate? You humans are beyond help. You really are. How could you not see that you were just being used? Used? Used me? Of course. I used your greedy aspirations to bring about my revival. But your role is now redundant. So, why did you pretend to cooperate with me until now? And because of this wonderful child here. Me? Yes, you and that arm of yours. I needed to know more about you. Which means I needed bait to reel you in. <laughs> what a joke! I was the bait all along, was I? Correct. How does it feel to suddenly understand your own worth? You have regrets now, I'm sure. But too late. Well then, as for you... I must acknowledge the power of your arm, but I think it's still too soon for you to be fighting me. I'm letting you go. You're letting me go? Who gave you control? Give Toya back first, you frosty old hag! You've got strength enough to use that sharp tongue. Do you really think you can beat me? I can, and I will! <laughs> Such self-belief. But you'll have your chance another time. I'll take this darling with me until then. Come now, my sweet child. Let us be going. Stop! Don't touch him! No! Give him back! Give Toya back! Professor Ko. 
Laugh at me now, would you? No. I want to know why you did all this. I already told you. I wanted to revive the technology from the Golem War. And so you used me? Like some kind of tool? That's right. You were nothing more than a useful experiment to me. Professor Ko, tell me. What am I? Why do I have this right arm? That's the heart of the matter. I doubt there is anyone who knows how your right arm came to be. I received orders to study you from the highest ranks in the military. That's all I know. The military wanted to research me? We still don't know where the arm came from, but it's made from ancient technology. Ancient technology? I gathered some cell samples from your arm and ran tests on them. The results were fascinating. That arm of yours was created from the core cells of a Devil Golem. What? His right arm is made from a Devil Golem? That's right. Which makes it the same as a Devil Golem. In fact, it could be a Devil Golem in its own right. That's impossible! Impossible! My right arm? A Devil Golem? My research is impeccable. I don't make mistakes. You've proven it anyway, haven't you? That arm's power to slaughter anything in its path. We've all witnessed it. The very definition of irony. Your arm simply proved too powerful. So further investigations into it were eventually prohibited. <laughs> but I'm not one to obey the edicts of the military. I'm no bootlicker. Those poor fools. They wanted to send the greatest sample we ever had to school. Did they think I'd allow such a thing? As a scientist, I must admit, I'll never forget that sight. An entire elite military unit reduced to ashes in an instant by the power of your arm. I... I, I did that? Oh, yes. It has taken you this long to remember, but that's to be expected. After each rampage, I carefully sealed them away, after all. Those memories. You... sealed away my memories? The military were scared. If you found out what you were capable of, you might deny them the use of your arm. Or worse still, take your own life. Just what... what does the military think I am? Another stupid question. A weapon, of course. I'm not a weapon! I'm... I'm human! If so, why were you able to break that seal? A seal that can only be broken by resonance with another Devil Golem. That resonance led you, didn't it? <sighs> the very fact that you are here is proof that you are not human. Am I wrong? Yes! I'm human! Deny your fate all you like. Flee from it. That power will one day find release. I had so wanted to see that day for myself. The end of the world. Or the beginning of it. Either way, that would have been a most gratifying thing to see. <laughs> Professor Ko! He's dead. Wait! What's this? Ah! What's going on? This man's death has apparently triggered the destruction of this facility. What? We must get out of here, my lady. You don't have to tell me twice. Come on! Hey, Atsuma! What are you doing? I can't move. Don't want to. What? Look around! I must have killed so many people with this arm. Toy said he doesn't want to be saved. What reason do I have to live? What kind of self-pitying nonsense is that? Green! If you want to die, then go on! Die! But you're making a big mistake if you think it'll absolve you. Green! You can't die here anyway. We need that arm of yours. You can die all you like once you finish the part you must play, okay? <laughs> 
So you just think of me as a weapon too? I'm just worthless. Stupid. All anyone wants is this. This thing. This appendage. Idiot! Is that all you think of me? Really? This place won't hold much longer. Quickly, get out of here. You again? Our thanks. Rygar! We have to get out of here! Quickly, run! Yes, okay, thank you again. Just who are you? You need not thank me. Now, escape. We made it out. Somehow. Thank you for your help. Please, tell us who you are. Next is the Emperor of Fire. What? Farewell. Hey, wait, what do you mean? He's gone. Just who is that guy? Atsuma, any ideas? Atsuma? Well, a promise is a promise. Time for you to help us with our operation. Don't try and worm your way out of it. I'll put you on a leash if I have to. Are you even listening to me? Okay, Atsuma. Keeping one's word is an important human virtue. If you're really human, you'll fulfill your promise to me. I'm not human, am I? I'm a weapon. A golem. You're an idiot, certainly. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a golem cry. I... <laughs> We're leaving. Toya, my dear, don't you think humans are so wonderfully foolish? Yes, my queen. But you, you have given up humanity to become my partner. You are now a vital piece of me. Isn't that an honor? Yes, my queen. <laughs> if you continue to devote yourself to me, then we shall continue to grow strong. Our bond will strengthen and deepen until finally we shall become one. Does that make you happy? Yes, my queen. So please, stop asking that boy to kill you. It's selfish, okay? Yes, my queen. No one is going to come between us. Until the preparations for the party are complete, we need your little friend and his arm right where they are. Ah, Toya. Please take a seat. Professor, you said you needed to talk to me? Concerning your parental authority, yes. What about it? I met with your parents. The university has now been designated your legal guardian. Placing an individual such as yourself, rich in the blood of the ancients, into the care of the city is common sense. I'm sure you agree. Whatever you say. Well, if that's all, may I leave now? You're taking this very calmly, Toya. Isn't it a shock to so suddenly be torn away from your parents? I was never close enough to them to be torn away. Furthermore, they were always scared of me. Scared of you, huh? <laughs> Is that amusing in some way? No, no. Just that you are an intelligent, skilled individual, rich in ancient power. You are feared by average people and yet have to use your skills to allow those same people to live better lives. Don't you think that it is a little ironic? Ironic? That the excellent are ruled by the average. It's such nonsense. Even if I am a descendant of the ancients, that simply makes me a good enchanter. You want to segregate people based on their enchant abilities? Now that's true nonsense. Ah, but what if, what if the difference was more than mere enchant proficiency? What else is there? The ancients can become magicors. 
Magic whores. You know the term, I see. Those with the blood of the ancients can become devil golem magic whores. And if, as a magic whore, a person could control a devil golem, they could easily surpass all mortal limits. This isn't like you, Professor. Such speculation is unscientific. Hmm. <laughs> Do you really think so? Atsuma's right arm. You feel it too, don't you? It's power. The perfect example, right at hand, of a human golem combination. Now, if you are interested... Professor? Yes? Maybe it's all this pointless theorizing, but I feel unwell. I must take my leave now. Thank you. Huh. Very well. Well then. Toya! Yes, Professor? If you ever have a change of heart, do let me know. Please, excuse me. Oh, I think you'll have that change of heart soon enough. Soon enough. <laughs> Just to make sure, okay? I don't want to hear that you've changed your mind or anything like that. You have to keep your promise. Are you listening to me, Atsuma? Yeah, I hear you. I'll help the Resistance. That's right. You'll help me out. Yeah, I know. A promise is a promise. You don't sound especially convincing. You're hardly eating anything either. You won't be any good in battle like this. If you stick with us, you may still have a chance. A chance? That's right. According to the ancient records, the fighting between devil golems is what dragged the golem war into the disaster it finally became. In light of that fact, do you think the Queen of Ice is simply going to let the other devil golems be? So what? Use your head! It means that the Queen of Ice may show up in London City! That man who saved us also said, the Emperor of Fire is next. That man? Oh, that mysterious handsome guy. He was quite charming, actually. You think? But there's something bugging me about him. I can't put my finger on it. Something about him didn't quite fit. Just who was he? From the way he handled himself, I'd say he's a top-level enchanter. He's highly skilled, that much is certain. As you say. Highly skilled? Really? Anyway, forget that handsome fellow. He doesn't appear to be an enemy. Unlike that friend of yours. What does that mean? He's been with the Ice Queen the entire time without even trying to get away. I don't know if it's by choice or if he's being controlled, but... What? You really think it's by choice? Can you really be so sure? When did I ask you to save me? I... <sighs> well, we never met. What was his name? Takuma? Before anyway, so I guess we can't make a judgment. Come on, we can't just stand around here all day speculating. Let's head back to the hideout. They may have some new information. As you say. Shall we use the shortcut? I don't really want to, but... That's probably the best idea. We have to hurry. The Queen of Ice isn't going to wait for us to be ready for her, after all. Shortcut? There's a shortcut through London Castle. It comes out close to our hideout. The castle? We can just walk through there? No problem, no problem. As you say. Don't worry about it. Come on. Recover body art for Atsuma. Oh my damn well god. How many cutscenes can they throw at you? Seriously, that was one fight that went to like 50 cutscenes. Oh, that was nasty. Uh, cut through London car. So, uh, is up the grand steps. Okay. Personally, I do believe the shop has restocked. What well, should up? Yes, shop is restocked. Um, silver gun core. Equipped by an unknown person. Guns. Oh, screw that! I want that annoying little lady. Assassin. You look really cute. I don't give a damn about you. You're a piece of paper? Actually, ah. Uh, um. What does this Belladonna do? 
Dark Bolt, High Cure, High EP Drain, and Power Up. Okay. Well, anyway, what skills have we got before I just run off? Um, some very nice ones. Um, shoot. High Cure Dance, High Earth Cloud, support plus 20%. Perfect skill for characters that are healing or are requiring support. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to go out of my way to synthesize weapon. Oh, the maximum sword. Let's have a look at this. Okay, I don't have it. Oh, well. Um, I'm going to go out of my way to play in the casino here a little bit and make some money. And once I'm done, I will buy all the moves and everything else. And I will see you once I'm fully equipped and got my moves sorted out. Got possibly a new golem or two. Um, ooh, you have some new stuff. You're still all the same. You're the same thing as before. Like direct minus 100 HP minus 255 for 255 ranged. Damn. I'm going to have to spend Florosicle? I think you were here before, you two. And then Protection Excel protects you and your surrounding allies from just status disorder. Oh, that's Rygar. Okay. Well, anyway, yes, I'm going to go and have some fun in this casino again and spend five years doing stuff. And until then, I will see you. Oh, actually, I want you first. I will see you in the next episode, so thank you very much for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.